In the center of Prescott, across from the Yavapai County Courthouse, sits the legendary Whiskey Row. Today, Whiskey Row is known for its galleries, shops, and eateries, but a few decades ago, it was home to some 40 saloons. Listed on the National Historic Register, it was a frontier saloon before Arizona became a state in 1912. It was built in 1877, but it burned. Uh, had a fire and burned it down uh, in 1883, and then the big fire was in 1900. And that was when all of Whiskey Row just went up in flames. Some say it was the great fire that helped shape what Whiskey Row is today. Once you step into the saloon's swinging doors, you step back in time. The palace is decorated with nostalgia of a bygone era. The staff even dresses in period attire. It's a piece of history. It's kind of neat to sit there where uh, I believe Teddy Roosevelt, uh, Tom Mix, John Wayne, uh, the Earp Brothers, Doc Holliday, all, all have uh, consumed alcohol off that bar. A drinking hole to frontier settlers, cowboys, and the most notorious of legendary gunslingers. The current owners bought the palace in the 1990s. And it was a honky-tonk for, for many, many years and uh, pretty beat up. So we did all the floors, uh, changed it around to the restaurant. Obviously, we didn't touch the bar aside from restoring it uh, to its 1877 grandeur. The palace has transformed over the decades. It was a hotel and some of the rooms were brothel rooms back, back in the day. The owners wanted to make sure the saloon was a place everyone could experience. Uh, we want kids and families to be able to sit at the bar. We're family friendly and enjoy the history and, and uh, stand where Doc Holliday has stood, and, uh, uh, Wyatt Earp and all them, and, and just, a, just a family destination and, and save a piece of history. Today, the saloon gets thousands of tourists and patrons each year. In 2014, USA Today listed the palace as one of the top 10 historic saloons in the U.S. They recently surpassed a milestone not many establishments get to experience. 115 year anniversary for this building will be October, October 10th uh, of this year. They've had their share of challenges and growing pains, but it continues to be a cornerstone. This is, this is definitely a, a one of a kind. I'm Ryan Cody for 12news.com.